Hello and welcome to Let's Play Yu Gi Oh! Duel Sword and Benefactor. Last time we did, we did. We actually beat Ishii's Tar. Now we're about to go and do. Which the third? Fjork. And I hope you enjoy this and we end up here in the corner. Deck, well, deck up a bit. Let's do this. I see you got world cards. You must be one of Lord Crawford's world cards. Your timing couldn't be better. When I heard you get, had land, I rushed my trips to the front. However, I arrived much too early. It would be sometime before Lord Crawford and his men arrive. In the meantime, why don't we play a, get a duel or two? I learned a trick or two from Seto. Oh, so he has taught you. Oh, that's right. That I like to try out. It's not every day that you have the opportunity to play the great King Richard III of England. How about it? Son of a bitch. <clears throat> that little bugger destroyed my red eyes. Little payback time.
Get three swamp by gods and get stone knights. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I lost. Oh wow, well, what do you expect from a beginner? Hurt, don't let it bother you. The important thing is how I perform on the battlefield. And with the support of Lord Prophet and the Robert's Crusader, victory will be ours for the taking. I'm afraid that won't be easy, sire. Who was... who... what? Hmm. Lord Crawford, it's about China. What exactly are you talking about, may I ask? I think that, aside from Seto, all the Robert's Crusaders have fallen at the hands of the Rose Dullers. They were being by the very person you just had the pleasure of dueling, sire. I pronounce you the Rose Duelist. What? And may I add that I've tried to join you and the Lancaster in their bid for power. What? <coughs> My match with the Rose Duelist taught me the true meaning of power. The Duelist may be even more powerful than Settle and the Royal Crusader that would mean that Yugi is likely to succeed in landing his troops. With the great Duel, Duel Master back in the Lancashire, the Yorkers are bound to be defeated. I would be a fool not to back the winning horse. And what of your hostage son, Lord Crawford? You evil bastard. You wouldn't dare touch a hair on his head if you and your troops are defeated. Oh my, I believe Yugi and his arm and his army have worked. It's showtime, sire. August 22nd, 20, 22nd, 1485, the final battle of the war of between the world's commands of Bowser Field. Sometime later. <laughs> a horse, a horse, my kingdom for a horse. 
Which of the third fallen in battle? Lo, here, this long unsuppered royalty from the temple of this witch has I plucked off to round their bow with with her where it enjoyed and make much of it. The victory brought about by Yugi's troops. Seeing at the end of over 330 years of rule under the Persians. My thanks to you, Skull. Without your help, this victory would not be ours. And in the respect of Lord Crawford, he, his aid ensured the fallen of which the third. I can't thank you enough. I owe you my thanks as before. I've felt hated to be on the losing side. Now all that's left of the Emily is that disbelical set of Lord Crawford, do you know where he might be? No one said to me best guess would be Stone Edge. I see. I hate to admit it, but I doubt that we have power enough to take out a duelist of his level. I must I I must ask a favour of you once again. Face the evil once and end his threat once and for all. Master, let's go. That's really the end of this episode. Next, we're going to face Seto at Stonehenge. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.